No one expected this from Toyota. Not the analysts, not Detroit, not even the EV diehards who thought Toyota was years behind. But overnight, the world's biggest automaker just detonated the battery race, a real road-ready solid-state battery, over 1,200 miles on a single charge, full recharge in five minutes, no lithium crunch, no cobalt politics, zero compromise. And this isn't a dusty prototype locked in a research lab. It's already rolling out of Toyota's pilot lines in Aichi, Japan, prepped for mass production. The first model, a compact Toyota priced under $30,000, aimed straight at the heart of the global car market. Within 72 hours of the reveal, battery suppliers went into panic mode. Stock values for legacy automakers evaporated by billions, and the entire EV startup scene flattened. Because this is more than range, it's more than speed. It's about control. Owning the tech that can power cars, planes, homes, even entire cities, without the chains of lithium dependency. Solid state was supposed to be decades away. Toyota just dragged the future into the present at scale. And in doing so, they may have rewritten the rules of the entire energy game. If you're ready to see how Toyota's breakthrough could reshape the future of energy, hit that like button. Subscribe for more game-changing reveals and tell us in the comments, has Toyota just pulled off the move that leaves every rival in the dust? For decades, the EV world was locked inside a lithium cage. Lithium-ion cells were the king of batteries. Powerful, yes, but also volatile, short-ranged, and painfully slow to recharge and always that lingering risk of thermal runaway. The polite industry term for it might catch fire. The question was never if someone would break free, but who and no one, absolutely no one thought it would be Toyota. No global countdown, no cinematic live stream, no stage lights, just a closed-door engineering summit in Toyota City attended only by top executives, select investors, and a handful of stunned engineers. What happened inside was nothing short of historic. Toyota confirmed that their solid-state battery program wasn't a far-off dream. It was real, fully functional, and already pushing boundaries once thought impossible. These cells have been tested relentlessly for over 18 months, integrated into prototype packs that shatter every performance benchmark in the EV playbook. The numbers. A verified 1,200 miles on a single charge. Recharge time less than 5 minutes. The same power unit that can take you from Tokyo to Fukuoka without stopping and can refuel faster than it takes to pour a cup of green tea. Toyota didn't roll out a concept car that day, they rolled out something far more dangerous to their rivals, proof that the lithium age is ending. On one leaked slide from the meeting, a single phrase in bold black letters sent shockwaves through the auto industry beyond lithium. This isn't just an upgrade, it's the start of a new battery era. One where Toyota holds the keys and the rest of the industry is suddenly racing to catch up. So. Why is Toyota's breakthrough sending shockwaves through the entire EV industry? First, they've removed the very floor that has haunted lithium-ion batteries from day one, the flammable liquid electrolyte, instead of a volatile, fire-prone liquid. Toyota's solid-state cells use a proprietary ceramic polymer matrix that's stable under extreme conditions, safe in collisions, and brutally efficient at moving energy. The leap in performance is staggering. Energy density has jumped from around 250 watt-hours per kilogram in today's best EV cells to nearly 450 watt-hours per kilogram, meaning almost double the power in the same footprint at a fraction of the weight. The result? Lighter cars, longer range, sharper handling, unmatched acceleration, these new Toyota cells are roughly 30% lighter and 15% smaller than the packs used in their current BZ series EVs. But it's not just about compactness. The solid-state design makes the battery pack rigid enough to serve as part of the vehicle's chassis, boosting crash safety and structural stability. Deep inside, a hidden advantage changes everything. A graphene-infused anode that virtually eliminates dendrites, the microscopic metal spikes that slowly kill traditional lithium-ion batteries and can trigger catastrophic short circuits. In Toyota's internal stress tests, these cells have survived more than 2,500 full-charge discharge cycles with less than 8% capacity loss. The X1 uses Toyota's revolutionary cell to frame integration, turning the solid-state pack into the vehicle's structural core. No dead weight, no excess metal. The entire platform is 28% lighter than the RAV4, yet stronger, stiffer, and safer. And because it was designed for high-volume production, from day one, Toyota expects the X1 to become its best-selling vehicle ever, eclipsing even the Corolla. While Toyota surged ahead, much of the industry froze. 
legacy automakers who invested billions in lithium-ion suddenly found themselves holding yesterday's technology. Factories optimized for old chemistry now looked like stranded asset. Joint ventures were re-evaluated, expansion plans stalled, shell battery giants like CL, LG, and SCON scrambled to open talks with Toyota over licensing its proprietary ceramic electrolyte patents, the same chemistry critics once claimed could never be stable at scale. Now they want it in, and the price tag for entry. Industry whispers put it at over $4 billion for a basic licensing agreement. Then came the market shock. In just three trading days, more than $46 billion was wiped from the valuation of legacy EV and battery stock. Startups touting next-gen chemistry's silicon anode, sodium ion, lithium air, saw investor interest evaporate overnight. One analyst summed it up in six words. This isn't competition anymore. It's consolidation. Toyota's leadership, usually measured in its statements, issued one simple line that echoed through investor calls and news headlines. And that's exactly what this is. Charging stations less critical when you can recharge in five minutes. Battery degradation virtually eliminated. Cobalt mining controversies gone. Four continent supply chains replaced with domestic production powered by renewables. Toyota hasn't just redefined the battery. It has reshaped the economics of mobility. It collapsed timelines, shattered forecasts, and bypassed the five-year technology gap the industry thought was unbreakable. The unveiling of the X1 prototype is a watershed moment, a tangible signal that the solid-state battery is no longer a laboratory promise, but an impending reality. Yet to view this achievement as merely the next step for the electric car is to miss the profound, sweeping revolution it heralds. The X1 is not the destination. It is the spark. By 2026, Toyota's solid-state technology is poised to unleash a domino effect, its influence extending far beyond the automotive world and into the very fabric of our energy and transportation ecosystems. The first and most immediate extension will be into the realm of energy storage. Imagine the rugged, snow-blanketed landscapes of Hokkaido, where a remote, off-grid village has historically relied on diesel generators, its power supply tethered to fuel deliveries and vulnerable to harsh weather. Now. Envision that same community powered by vast, hyper-efficient solid-state power walls, charged by summer sun and storing that energy not for hours, but for days or even weeks on end. The incredible energy density and stability of these cells mean a single seasonal charge could carry a community through the long, dark winter months, fundamentally altering the economics and reliability of renewable energy. Scale this vision up, and you begin to redefine national energy grids. Grid-scale megapacks utilizing solid-state chemistry would be exponentially more compact, powerful, and safer than their lithium-ion predecessors. They would allow for the mass banking of surplus solar and wind energy, smoothing out peaks and troughs with unprecedented efficiency, and finally making a 100% renewable grid a practical, rather than just a theoretical goal. But the transformation grows even more profound when we look to the seas and skies. Consider the global shipping industry, the lifeblood of our interconnected world, yet a massive contributor to global emissions. Picture a massive container ship, not as a floating smokestack, but as a silent, powerful leviathan crossing the Pacific Ocean without consuming a single drop of heavy fuel oil. The volumetric energy density of solid-state batteries makes this once fanciful idea a plausible future, turning maritime transport from a laggard in the climate fight into a leader. The most tantalizing applications, however, may be aerospace, where the weight-to-energy ratio is the ultimate bottleneck. This isn't mere theory, it's already under active test. Insiders close to Toyota's aerospace division hint at the evaluation of advanced ceramic cell derivatives for next-generation applications. The initial focus is on high-altitude, long-endurance drones, unmanned aircraft that could loiter in the stratosphere for weeks, providing everything from communications relays to environmental monitoring, all powered by the sun and these revolutionary batteries. All of this began with a single decision to throw out the old roadmap and build the future 10 years ahead of schedule. The auto industry is no longer just about horsepower or design, it's about storage density charge speed and grid integration. Whoever owns the battery owns the future. Right now, Toyota isn't just in the race it's running alone, the era of lithium is over, the age of solid state has begun, and for Toyota, this isn't following a trend it's writing the next chapter of mobility itself. If you thought this was wild you haven't seen anything yet. 
Toyota's just getting started and so are we. Hit that like button smash subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next chapter in the revolution. The road ahead is changing fast and you'll want a front row seat.